China, as we all know that China is boasted with rich intangible cultural heritage, but how to commercialize them and make them sustainable is a tough issue. Randy from Oriental Secret is a pioneer. Hi, Randy. Hi. Can you, fir yeah. Can you firstly tell us more about your brand, your company and products? Uh, Oriental Secret is a Chinese cultural brand and focus on an uh, integrity culture, uh, cultural uh, heritage and we focus on the whole old handicraft. Uh, uh, we, want, we want to bring them uh, back to our modern life. Uh, we want to uh, live a uh, oriental and uh, cultural and elegant life. So what's your motivation? Why you do the, the heritage related business? There are so many different items of products. Why you choose to do this? Uh, about this topic, we have to talk to our brand founder, Miss mm -hmm. uh, Wei Su Ying. Uh, she is our CEO of Women Group. Uh, and uh, after almost 20 years, he spends almost all his all her spare time uh, to visit, to find, and to research China uh, Chinese traditional culture. Uh, and he visits over 300 uh, barrier uh, and find many, many uh, cultural things in which he is uh, research. Uh, and uh, during, his, uh, during her experience, uh, she found the difficulties of the traditional culture and handicraft. And uh, the product is old. It's beautiful, but not the beautiful for uh, our modern life like. Uh, it's not fashion, mm -hmm. and it's unuseful. Uh, it's out of useful. So uh, how to save them, how to help them, uh, it's become a question that uh, Ms. Wei Shu Ying is thinking about. Uh, during these years, and the the barrier, the, the, the master uh, is older and older, and even some of them were gone. Uh, so she feels sad. Uh, and it's time after uh, she came back to Shenzhen, and it will spread several years to, 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 to come back to, to how to relieve his motion. Uh, so she wanted to do something, and uh, during, uh, the, their children, the children of the master, uh, the, the barriers, they, they, want to, they, they, do, they don't want to study or learn their parents' skill uh, because they, they can't make, they, uh, they can't become, because of the weak demand. And the low income, we in, leave, uh, we in income. Uh, you know that, you know that. So uh, less and less people to study and learn this skill, uh, to learn the culture. So it met this uh, cultural heritage, uh, lead them to go, drive, drive them to die. They are dying now. So we have to do something. Before it's too late. Yeah, before it's too late. Uh, if not, we one day we have to we, we have to see them in the museum, in the our book, or the, through the video. It's a sad thing. Go to extension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I know uh, as far as I am concerned, you are not the first one who come up with the idea to protect to preserve the intangible cultural heritage, but how to run this business successfully, how to make it work out? Uh, this question we researched and discussed for seven months, mm -hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. we, we talked about many times, many, many times, uh, with, uh, with we and with, uh, with our founder, uh, with our the high uh, manager in our group. And Finally, we decide to build up a brand, and through the industry uh, way, industry way, to help them 
uh, come back to our modern life and uh, how to say um, we have the design team we are top designer mm -hmm. uh, all over the world in our team and we design the modern and fashion products uh, each one of them we use at least one element of the uh, traditional yeah, 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 cultural, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and we ask the master mm -hmm. to finish the, this part, to finish this part. And finally, we accomplish it, whole the products in our modern factory. So you can see our f uh, products now here, like this. Uh, we have the beautiful uh, promotion. So you mean your bags are actually a combination of traditional culture yeah. and modern designing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, last question, what's your vision? Because I think it's very worthwhile. So what's your vision towards the future of the company? Uh, we have two visions. One we have doing now uh, that we through the industrial way to help the uh, master mm -hmm. and the people around the master uh, make their life better and better and through this way to keep the uh, inherited cultural heritage to living stably uh, and in another way uh, we want to show our Chinese beautiful thing to all over the world because now uh, not many people know the real beautiful thing of Chinese culture so uh, we think we we are built up a, a brand oriental secret that we can uh, make the people through our products to see and to know that and to accept finally to love our products and our brand thank you so much Randy for sharing with us I think Chinese traditional culture deserve to be known by the world